<sighs> Get in the pig, what are you doing? Working on my tan. Duh. That's not what the heat lamp's meant for. Oh, but it's okay to power solar gadgets with it? That was for a scientific exploration. And you'd even think to use poor Sojo? Sadly, he hasn't been operational in a few years. I think it's today that Mr. Lombardi's gonna donate Sojo for some parts. What? I didn't know. But listen, I know a guy who knows a guy that knows a guy that would pay a lot for some Sojo, eh? Sojo is not for sale. We'll talk about it later. But back to the solar exploration. The kids already know about the solar panels we have here at school. And my students know about my solar backpack that charges a battery. But then I wanted to ask them, how do they think this little solar car works? Most of my students were convinced that a battery with no mention of a motor was making it work. So I had them explore with solar cells and motors. Right? Isn't that weird? Sometimes you need to give it a little push to get it spinning. Leaving station one, going to station two. Make sure your fingers are not in the way. And it looks like you got two. Is that yeah. two? Let's see the panels. You got two panels. Reminder, if you did one panel, try two. If you did two, try four. Which I think you guys are doing already, but we're keep building on it. So how many panels do we have? Four. 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 And two motors. If this is solar, where's the sun? Technically, these are photovoltaic cells, which means a strong enough light can generate volts of electricity. But of course, the strongest common light is from our sun. And it's free and clean, zero pollution and carbon free. That's really fast. You should see it on video right now. It looks really slow. Turning a motor makes sense for a solar car, but we can also generate sounds. All right, so what you got going? So uh, we connected four solar panels, and apparently it's getting energy from the lights. Originally it was two, and we heard that. So these overhead fluorescent lights? Yeah. 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 Apparently. I connected two solar panels for me and Adrian, and then um, I, we just heard a buzzing, and then we decided to connect four and started playing the music. It's not quite a song because it's not enough energy. Tad's missing his heat lamp. We did a series with positive and negative, and then we put five solar panels and we put it under the heat lamp and it started playing the music. Did you go yay? Uh, no, not yet. You don't go yay? Well, how about yay. Yay. yay? Troubleshooting and problem solving were naturally part of this exploration. It's not working? The one thing we noticed there's a soldering problem over here that maybe it could be the problem. It was out there for like a minute. Or like a I would play with the connection. You work for like a second. The solar panels to the speaker, but it's not working. Did you try different wiring? We connected those like to like this. The black to black. If it's not working, try something else. I don't even think I'll use that. All right, cut it. <laughs> Keep track if it works. If it works. Write down what wires work. The black is not random. The red is not random. So you want to map that out. What works, what doesn't work in your notebook. Also, do we want to cover the solar panels? No. So they put both large solar panels onto the speaker, and that's probably the loudest you're going to get. What do you think? Other sound devices were explored. It's good that we can use solar power to make annoying buzzard sounds. <laughs> Including an AM FM radio that requires more voltage. United States, the issue of abortion is a very... I wish we had music instead. Musica. Only after my students had several class periods exploring did they learn about the different circuit hookups and what they are called. Simple circuit, parallel circuit, and a series circuit. 
Some other discoveries were made along the way. Oh, your head. Is your head blocking the solar yeah, panel? Yeah, it was blocking the solar panel. What? It's not working. Alright, but no, now remember what, what, with motors. Remember what you had to do before? Like, oh. There you go. Uh -huh. Look at that. Illusion. Oh, Look at the real it's thing. actually going real, a lot faster. Except only the Wait, fans are working. working. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I can't tell. Look at it. Oh, it's spinning so fast? Yeah. The fan doesn't look like it's spinning. And I changed different frame rates, but look at it. It's It looks like it's going slow. We originally tried it with the regular number two pencil, and then we took um, our, our lead pencil, took out the lead, and we connected it to the wires, and then it started playing. Yeah. It's not lead, though, is it? It's graphite. Well, it's like graphite. So what does this tell you about graphite? It, it can conduct electricity. Does it necessarily mean it's metal? No. 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 Be in conductor, not have to be metal, it is. <laughs> Some students got to measure voltage using a digital multimeter. So we're gonna make it lower than 20, so two is good. Because of the smaller solar cell. It is 0.584. So the voltage is 3.93. Kind of varies. If I cover the panel, let's see if it lowers the voltage. Yeah, it does. You're like blocking the light from the sun, so and it uses the sun to create energy, so it's like, oh no, I don't have energy, and it goes low, and we're like, oh, yeah. okay. Hey. It gives us like twice the thing. Kind yeah, of look, 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 no, it's going way higher. So these two panels are 7.28 volts. So metal's a good conductor, right? So it's going to make a noise if this is a good conductor. Now let's, there we go. It's beeping. All right, so what other metal things can we connect it to to see if it's a good conductor of electricity? I mean, I would like to be a braces. No. I mean, come no. on, it's not gonna hurt you. Come back. It won't shock you. After this exploration, students were then asked again to model how they think the solar car works. Most of the batteries were gone, while motors were a lot more prominent. See that? Tad's heat lamp was just a starter. The most efficient and cleanest way to power solar cells is by the sun, of course. <laughs> Meatball sandwich, <sighs> lasagna con mozzarella, <sighs> cannoli. Guinea! Yeah, 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 yeah. Solar's great. Yeah. Right. Well, Guinea, say goodbye to Sojo. We're gonna take him out now for upcycling pickup. Ciao, Sojo. Too sad. But listen, what about my guy's guy's guy? Nice try, Ginny, but we're donating him for science, not for money. Look, I'll give you 10%. 13? Uh, okay, 10%. Oh. Until next time. Bye, Sojo.